Hello, I'm Chris Riddell. I'm the author of the Ottoline books, the alienography books, and a new book called Goth Girl and the Ghost of a Mouse. And uh, today I'm drawing the ghost of a mouse. And I'm going to start with the mouse's ears. This one here. And curve of his head, a little tuft, and his second ear. There's the crease in the mouse's ear. Just do the shape of his head. And in the middle is his nose. Two front teeth. And I think he might just have a bit of a smile. That's one eye. And as a guest of a mouse, he's looking quite cheerful, I think. Second eye. Name's Ishmael, and considering he's a ghost, he's a very cheerful ghost. There's his arms, these are his arms. Body, two feet. And most importantly of all, because he's called Ishmael Whiskers, he needs some whiskers. Now we want to make him look a little bit ghostly, because he's see-through, so you can actually see the carpet and the pattern in the carpet. through his shimmery, ghostly body. Nicely patterned carpet, all the way from Anatolia. When Ada first meets the ghost of a mouse, he appears on her bedroom carpet, and she just sees him glowing palely. Now, to make the mouse look furry, you can do little tufts, little uh, strokes of the pen to give that look of fur around the outline. And to make his nose look as if it might be twitching, like a mouse's nose sometimes twitches, you can do little shading just around the top of the nose. And then, to give him a little glint in his eye, put in two dots for the eyes, and then two, and then a little circle just above each dot to give a glint in the eye. And just a suggestion of an eyebrow just above the eye. I like to use shading called cross-hatching, where you draw a series of straight lines, and then you draw another series of lines over the top to create a crosshatch pattern. Now, don't forget, when you've finished your drawing, to sign your name at the bottom. And I've signed my name, Chris Riddell. You can also find a guide to drawing Ishmael, the ghost of a mouse, on gothgirlbook.com.